Weirdest military machines of all time. War brings out the engineer and people. From homemade tanks to nuclear landmines to square bullets, engineers and designers have come up with some crazy stuff over the years. Some of these machines or weapons are so absurd, it's funny to think that anyone ever thought they could work. Other machines, while impractical, were inventive and innovative attempts to give soldiers a unique advantage. When weapons system works, it's made by the thousands and sometimes used for decades. But when it doesn't, it's quickly added to the dustbin of bad ideas. Many of these spectacularly ridiculous, odd, and exceptionally weird weapon systems. Concepts and machines were developed by militaries all over the world. What are the weirdest military machines ever built? Today we discover these bizarre machines and weapons used by the military. Better watch the video until the end, and we promise you it'll make your jaw drop. So hit the like and subscribe button, then ring the notification bell. Krumlov STG-44 as US forces pushed deeper into Germany near the end of World War II in Europe, more and more the Nazi secret weapons plans were revealed. They discovered a unique design intended to shoot at an angle. Even up to 90 degrees, US troops found several examples of a radical firearms design called Krumlov, German for curved barrel. This was an attachment to the Stug 44 assault rifle that would allow the user to shoot around corners without exposing himself to enemy fire. The Krumlov was issued to tank crews for defending their vehicles against infantry, but rarely used and quickly withdrawn because of numerous design problems. Some of these include short barrel lifespans and bullets shattered as they come around the curves of the device. There were also multiple cases of friendly fire casualties among German troops who couldn't see what they're shooting at. Bob Simple Tank At the start of World War II, New Zealand joined Australia, its neighbor, in recognizing that neither power held a viable arms producing industry, particularly where tanks or related armored vehicles were concerned. When it became obvious that these systems would not be arriving from Britain or the US anytime soon, and under threat from an ever-expanding Imperial Japanese spear in the Pacific, both countries began to seek solutions from within their respective borders. One key example became the Bob Simple tank, named after Bob Simple, the then acting Minister of the Works. The tank was hastily arranged around a Caterpillar D8 bulldozer, which had been in production since 1935. To this was added a crude, corrugated finished metal superstructure intended to protect the operating crew from small arms fire. A lack of available heavy caliber weaponry meant that the vehicle carried only machine guns and these were set along each primary hole with one at each side, a pair facing forward, one to the rear and a sole fitted to the transversing turret. At the very least this would offer some firepower against enemy infantry at range. Krupp Kugel Panzer It's not strange to see weird prototypes of tanks, but the Kugel Panzer is certainly one of the most mysterious and weirdest tanks of World War II. There was only one example known to exist, which was captured by the Soviets in Manchuria in 1945 and is currently on display in the Kabinska Tank Museum in Moscow Oblast, Russia. The tank known as Kongol Panzer, meaning ball tank, has very little known history as documentation is completely non-existent. However, Kongol Panzer was created by the Germans, most likely by Krupp, during World War II and was shipped to Japan. There's much speculation on the tank's purpose, but the specialists agree that the purpose would have been to serve a one-man armored Renaissance vehicle. The Kongol Panzer's armor was only 5mm thick and was powered by a single cylinder two strike engine. For weaponry, it would have been either equipped with 7.92mm MG34 or MG42 German machine gun. Schwerer Gustav Dora railway gun. In the 1930s, France constructed a Magnoid Line, which was a series of fortifications and obstacles attendant to protect the country against invasion from the east, Germany. It serves as an impossible wall of defense. Naturally, when one country develops a new defensive technology, other countries rush to develop a way to defeat that technology. And so, the giant cannon shore where Gustav was born. The largest piece of artillery ever used in combat. A massive railroad gun that could be theoretically be brought to wherever it was needed. It could fling an 8-ton shell over 37,000 meters. It also required a crew of 2,500 men to set it up. It could only fire 14 shells a day and took 45 minutes to reload. Two guns of this type were ordered, the second one being named Dora and it was deployed briefly against Stanglerad, but the Germans had quickly withdrawn it when the Soviets threatened to encircle the weapon. Dora was broken apart before the war ended and was discovered by American troops. The Gustav cannon was first used during the siege of Sevastopol in Crimea. area. The gun fired 300 shells on Sevastopol. Over a year after its first use, the Nazis gave up using the Gustav gun. The gun appears to have been destroyed to prevent its capture sometime before April 22, 1945, but other sources state that the great weapons was captured and disassembled by the Russians. Ikran Chapalan It's not a ship and it's not quite a plane. It's a ground effects vehicle that flies on a cushion of air jet over ground. The US found out that Russians were building them during the Cold War when aerial photographs turned up what could only be called the Capstan Sea Monster. Extra plans need to be very short, stubby wings to work, so absolutely massive vehicles can be built, the greatest of which being the sole 240 foot long Lund class extra Columpin built in 87. The idea was it could cruise across the Pacific at high speeds while staying low enough to avoid radar detection. 
Filled with Russian shoulders and packed with six missile launchers, it would be the stealthiest attack in the U.S. Ekertron planes aren't the most cost-effective means of transporting hundreds of thousands of cargo anymore, but they're still awesome. Davy Crockett Nuclear Rifle Probably the smallest nuclear weapon ever developed, the Davy Crockett would give American soldiers in the field the ability to rain atomic fire on the enemies in an ultra close range. Despite its small yield, inner accuracy, low range only 2.5 miles, and the extreme danger it posed to anyone who used it, the US Army manufactured over 2,000 Davy Crockett's. Deploying them from 1961 to 1971, a Davy Crockett text explosion was the last above ground nuclear test in US history. Yokosua MXYZ Oka in the last days of World War II, Japan deployed multiple vehicles designed for the sole purpose of committing suicide attacks against American ships. The Shinyo suicide boat, Caden Man suicide sub, the Oka suicide flying bomb were all used against US fleets in 1945, though none had any drastic impact on the war effort. Each was a small craft with enough engine power to take it out of a target. It didn't have any weapons, but a pilot was sealed inside along a nose full of high explosives. Though these weapons did sink a number of smaller US vessels, they recorded no hits on larger vessels. Most were destroyed before even reaching their targets. Squared Bullet Guns Possibly the world's first automatic weapon. The Puckle gun was designed in 1718 by James Puckle, a British lawyer and inventor. Clumsy, difficult to aim and ill-suited for warfare of the time, the Puckle appears to never have fired a shot in anger. One of those shots was a square bullet, designed solely to be fired at Muslim Turks. Why design a bullet just for shooting at one particular religion? Because square bullets were thought to cause more damage and would teach the Turks the benefits of living under Christian civilization. The bullets were basically impossible to aim, and like the Puckle gun itself, a failure written off as historical oddities. These war machines may look scary, but can cut a swathe unlike anything else, which left you in awe. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and amaze others too by sharing this video. To get more information and entertaining videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video, stay knowledgeable and amused.